Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where I will show you the average x function. So average x function is helpful in scenario where you need to take an average of n value based on some calculation. So I have a scenario over here and hopefully you can use this function in a similar type of a scenario. Alright, so what do I have over here is the product subcategory, their average of sales for the respective category and average profit. Now what we want is the average gross profit or the average sorry the average gross sales. So gross sales is nothing but the sales plus profit but what we need is an average out of it. So in scenarios like those where you need to take an average based on a calculation you can't use a normal average function which can take only one parameter like a particular field but the average x function which can take the expression. Alright, so how you can do that? First thing is you need to make sure that right table is selected and then you go to the new measure and over here you will have to mention is cross average sales and this will be average x. So as you can see, calculates the average arithmetic mean of a set of expression evaluated over a table. So that's a perfect function for us. We need to first specify the table. Table name is orders, as you can see it over here. So this is orders. And then what we need is the sales, this one, plus the profit, this one, and close it. If you do it, this expression in a normal average function, it will going to return an error, right? So you check this and gross average sales is present here. This table is selected. If I click it over here, it will part of this. And now you have your average gross sales, which is here. So that way you can very easily use the average X function in scenarios like those where you want to find an average based on some sort of an expression based on your business rule or business analysis that you are trying to do. So that's very quickly I wanted to show you how you can utilize or use the average x function scenarios like this and uh, get create your report or dashboard. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.